Hey everybody, Jeff Stone here with day 56 of the year 2015 at magicreviewed.com. We're looking at a book today called Altriado, Altriodo by Paul Carnazzo. Uh, let me just start by saying, I don't know if this is a disclaimer, but I'm a Paul Carnazzo fan. Uh, I don't think there's been a product of his that I've seen that I didn't like. Um, and not just based on production quality method and ad copy, which are the things I review on, uh, but also based on stuff I like to perform. And there is a ton of stuff in this book that I like, and I'm like, man, I, I can't put it all in my repertoire. But that aside, we got to judge it strictly on the merits of the product quality and method and ad copy and so forth, because you might not like any of these effects. So uh, to get a good sense of the effects, go to the the um, ad copy and read the effects. That's the best way to do it. I'm going to talk about a few of them. Um, one of them involves these photographs here, and uh, it's an effect where <laughs> it's uh, it's called the the wannabe serial killer, <laughs> and uh, the idea is it's this OCD uh, serial killer who uh, makes his victims play games. It, it kind of reminds me of that um, Sherlock Holmes story about the, I think it's the very first Sherlock Holmes story, but it's one of the first ones um, where the serial killer plays a little game with the victims. And I won't go into the details of the game, but um, that's what's going on here. And the serial killer gives out these three photographs of the victim, of the possible murder weapons, gives them to the victim, and uh, he has to arrange them with them face down in a certain order. And if they're arranged uh, in a specific order, which is the photograph there, um, then the victim doesn't die. But if he doesn't arrange them, then the victim dies. And so this is the prediction photo that you show at the end that they don't know about until you've um, they've arranged the pictures. But anyway, it's kind of a dark theme for a, a trick, but it's also got sort of a fun thing where there's this little interaction between you and the spectator with this. So um, that the method, I'm not going to tell you the method, but it's there's a very clever little thing. There's two methods he gives, and one does require you to have knowledge of a certain principle that he doesn't expose, but the other method doesn't require that. He teaches everything. And frankly, I like the second method better that doesn't require you to have the special knowledge of the other concept. And by the way, if you're into mentalism, you probably know about this other concept. Um, but I like the other method anyway. Um, it's cleaner and there's a very clever thing that you do with the photographs that um, makes it foolproof and it's, it's the way they're handled and everything. It's very, very smart, very clever. Um, uncrushed, it's a, I don't have a water bottle on me, but you know, the plastic water bottles, spectator's water bottle, <coughs> speaking of water, <laughs> do you know how annoying it is to not be able to talk without coughing? Man, it's annoying. And it's not just me talking on video here. It's like talking to my family. I, mean, I just don't know what it is, but I cannot shake this little tickly, itchy cough thing. It's driving me crazy. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, water bottle that's got some water still in it. And uh, you have the spectator um, take the lid off and, and uh, squeeze the bottle and then put the lid back on so they can see that the bottle can't expand while the lid's on. They take the lid off to let the gas out or the air out again. And then um, they, you put the lid back on, or you have them put the lid back on, and, and crush it first, put the lid back on, and then it's, they set it on the table, and using your mind, you uncrush the bottle. Very cool effect, but again, you may not like that effect, but the method is so simple, so clever, and uh, it's using their water bottle. So you do have to make a little special something that you got to carry with you, and that special something is different depending on the water bottle. But it's the kind of thing where, you know, I know what kind of water bottles we drink around our house. And if you have friends that you hang out with that drink a certain kind of water bottle, you know what they drink. So you'll know what to make. And the gimmick takes like literally two seconds to make it. Um, and so you just have to make it in advance of when you're going to be in the venue where you're going to perform it. So it's very, very smart, though. Very clever. Um, the the uh, Max Maven's positive negative effect. Um, I think that's what it's called. There's a version of that on here that is added a little extra something to it that makes it, um, it changes the way, uh, it changes one of the outs. I'll just say that to where that there is no out. It's just, it's, it's, um, you can hand out the, they can, can you hand out the card? No, you can't have the card. 
Uh, sorry, I'm trying to be vague enough that I don't expose Max Maven's method. Um, but this is one where, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Sorry, guys. Let me just say this. It adds a little something extra to the Max Maven version um, that makes it, um, the ending is, I think, better. But that's a matter of opinion. But he added something extra to the method that's very clever. Um, a similar method is employed with this side up, which is a, a prediction of how an imaginary coin will land five times in a row or six times or however many you want times in a row. And so you, you've you predicted, you know, heads, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, whatever. Um, and so uh, anyway, those two effects require you to make up a little special something. Each one has its own special something. But, and that takes, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes to make it up. But once you're done, then you never have to do it again. And you're always ready to do this effect if you have those special somethings with you. So there's more effects on here. I'm not going to go into all the details of them. But I'll just tell you this. The effects are not, you know, I, I, not too long ago I reviewed a mentalism book. Um, I think it was called um, Effects Memorabilia. It had the word memorabilia in it. I can't remember. It was by Stephen Palmer. And, uh, you know, it was a good book and everything, but it was just sort of the same old, same old. There was really nothing unique or new. I mean, no unique presentations, no really unique effects, no methods that were, I mean, it was just kind of the same old stuff. It was more like an introduction to mentalism than anything. Whereas this book is more like, no, here are some good effects. Again, that's my opinion doesn't affect my rating but here are some good effects that have good methods and that does affect my rating these are good solid methods that are uh there's some familiar methods and some familiar effects but there's also some unique methods and unique effects and unique presentations and a big thing that paul carnazzo brings to the table is scripting his presentational scripting is very clever and it adds a lot to the effect it makes the effect more powerful and more impossible seeming so you combine all that with these unique methods, unique scripting, unique presentational ideas, and you get a book with some solid material in it. And, uh, you know, this book that I told you about, the me method, mem method memorabilia, that's what it's called. Um, I think it was $75. I could be wrong about that, but it was not a cheap book. This book's 35 bucks, and it comes with this little um, pictures here. Uh, now... Uh, that doesn't mean that the just because the other book's seventy five dollars doesn't mean it's not worth seventy five. That's up to you, uh, and I'm, I shouldn't really be comparing this book to that book. I only brought it up just because there's it's often when there's new mentalism books out, they're often sort of the same old same old. And I'm just saying that this one is not the same old same old. Uh, it's an eclectic collection of mental effects by Paul Carnazzo, um, and I really believe that's what this is. I think there's some great material in here. That has a lot of potential um, to be, you know, morphed into your performance style, whatever that may be. Um, you know, it ranges from dark to comedy to um, to just casual to everything in between. And the methods and the principles and the techniques are all sound, solid principles and techniques. So, um, the as far as the production quality, the, the book's well made, well printed, everything. There's a, there's quite a few typos actually. Um, but, uh, and there was one weird thing where it was, I, I wrote it up in the written review where it was, let me see if I can find it. It's on page 47. It said, it was talking about something and it said, for example, the following line, colon. And then after it, there's no following line. So it didn't, the thing it was referring to wasn't there, but none of the typos, including that mistake I just mentioned, none of that affects your ability to be able to do the material in here. Um, and you, that's the other thing too. It's written up very well. Um, it's very well explained, very well taught. So it's all around just a solid product. I gave it 4.5 stars, stone status of gem for sure. You can pick that up. Um, I, I think Murphy sells it, which means that you can get it at your favorite magic dealer, or you can get it directly from Paul Carnazzo at his website, mentalvoyage.com. Um, but either way, you should be able to get it from your, your dealer if, if, um, uh, if you can't, and if you can't find it there, then you can go get it at Paul's site or whatever. So that's it for this one. It's time for you to like this video, subscribe to my channel and listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is only the good die young <coughs> by Iron Maiden.
finally we're getting some metal this week it's been a while um so this is off the seventh son of a seventh son album which is just a great album really really good album. There's a lot of good tunes on there so check that out i'll put a link to that in the description below tune in tomorrow day 57 where we review david penn's tie shell the color changing tie um maybe i'll wear it and try it out we'll see how that goes all right guys that's it for today thanks for watching we'll see you manana peace out Thank you.